Hey, good people, how you doing? David Tao here. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. And today we're going to do some simple blues licks that should be in everyone's blues, blues rock vocabulary. And with each lick, I want to show you the device that I'm using, because this way, instead of just learning a lick, because kind of like, what good is that? You learn a lick here, a lick there, you have a pocket full of licks. You want to learn from the lick, right? Learn how to take it, break it down, what scale is it from, what device you're using. So you could build your own licks or kind of change the lick around and vary it and turn one lick into ten licks. We'll be in the key of E minor and you'll want to practice these licks in all keys and practice them over jam tracks. My guitar is tuned to E flat today, so each string tuned down half a step. And we're going to be in a real aggressive style kind of today and really be like raking into all the strings on each of the bends or each of the note that we're starting with. We're also going to be heavy vibrato and digging in hard in that real aggressive kind of Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of style. So all the licks today we're just going to build from our basic box shape blues scale, minor pentatonic blues scale based off of our low E string root at the 12th fret. The shape looks like this. to see this scale and like 20 other scales diagrammed out across the neck right I have a killer resource that will really help you along in your guitar journey it's my blues rock soloing ebook it contains tons of scale diagrams soloing strategies lessons and more it's absolutely packed I'll send you that and a free video lesson on how you could really dress up your playing doing some simple things so uh, I'll send you a free video lesson and that free ebook just click on that link in the YouTube description box send it to you for free so here's our first lick one of the devices that I use in this lick and I'll take it right from the start is we're bending on the 14th fret G string uh, to the 15th fret so we're bending to that blue note but we do the bend really quick and we release it and then pull off so that's the bend, bend, release. So bend up, release real fast, and then you're going to pull off to the 12th fret. So it's one pick. Okay, and obviously that's a very common blues device, bending to this blue note. We're adding some color. But then after we pull off to the 12th fret, you're going to hammer back to that 14th fret. This is all one pick. So pick, bend, release, pull, hammer, then slide to the 15th fret, slide back to the 14th fret. So again, all one pick. So what we're doing in this device is we're bending to the blue note quickly and then we're sliding to it. And then when you slide, you slide back. See, so you get two different textures. Here it is slow if I play that whole first part. That's what you want. So you're doing that quick bend, release, pull off, hammer, slide, slide, pull off. And then just work up that speed. Then what I do is I go to that 14th fret back to our root note E. And then what I do is this double stop, but I really give it a lot of vibrato. So I'm grabbing, this is a great double stop to use and to get really familiar with because you can throw it into so many of your licks. I'm grabbing that 12th fret with my first finger at the B and the G string and shaking it. Right? You gotta get really comfortable with that. You can even just, if you want to just bend it. But I like doing that heavy vibrato with it. So, so far. And then I just go 14, 12, and then hat, and it's on the D string. And then hammer to that 14th fret. So the whole lick's low. Notice I end on that E note because we're in the key of E minor and we want to resolve a lot of our licks to that E. The other thing I'm doing, I don't mention it because I kind of incorporate it into this technique, is that first bend, I'm kind of raking across by laying the palm of my hand on the strings and that's a really common technique you want to get used to, especially in your blues playing, is raking into those notes where you just hear the muted strings above, the strings above, and then you let the note you want to ring ring out, but you get that right you get that really cool raking sound 
If you have a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that helps us to keep bringing the content, right? Um, leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see in the future. If you like the lesson, please uh, click the like button. Give it a thumbs up. That really helps us and we so appreciate it. Next lick incorporates uh, a good amount of string bending and it's a great lick that you could do repeated. It's a great repeated lick. <laughs> Let's take the first part of the lick. We're incorporating string bending here, where we're bending on this 15th fret on the high E string. So start on the 12th fret B string, and then you're gonna bend up a whole step on the high E string. Now, here's this little device, and you wanna get really comfortable with this, is you're laying, my, you're laying your first finger flat on the fretboard to catch high E and B string. But instead of having to do it one at a time, takes too long, just bar, and you'll be using that trick a lot. Then after that, you're gonna bend the 15th fret on the B string up a whole step. And then 12th fret high E, and then the lick repeats itself. I'll do it real slow. Right? And then I end it with a really cool tag ending that you could use, and you hear this all the time. Again, string raking heavy vibrato. Okay, what I did there was I bent up high E string, again, raking into it. Now I let it down, but when I let it down, I give it a lot of vibrato. Okay, so let it down vibrato, and then... Again, first finger flat, so important, 12th fret, high E, B, high E. 15th fret, high E, and then 12th fret, E. Here's it slow, I'll just do it one time. With this lick, what we do first is a slow bend. We're slow bending on the G string, 14th fret to our 15th fret to our blue note. Remember before? We did that quick bend and release. Here we're doing really slow. Then we have that first finger bend, first finger flat, I mean, high, uh, B, high E, G. Right? Now, 15th fret B string, high, um, you're gonna bend it up a whole step. Now what I did this time is you bend it up, Hold it, strike it again while it's up. Different than last lick where we let the bend down and then struck the note. All these little nuances are really gonna add so much color and flavor to your playing. So hold the bend, strike it again. Then go back to that first finger bar, high E, and then B. Then we're gonna do the bend on the high E string, 15th fret, a whole strip. Bend, release. Bend, let it down, vibrato. Then 12th fret, high E, then slide to the 17th fret, which is an E note also. 15th fret, high E. And then you end on your E note. Now that's important because we're going from the one to the one. See, E note here, high E string, 12th fret, and then you slide to the high, uh, to the E note. 17th fret B. So you get that one to the one, little different timbre because they're on different strings, same note. High E string, and on the root with vibrato. For this lesson, I'm using a Fender Stratocaster guitar with Texas Special Pickups. I'm running through a tube amp, a Fender Hot Rod DeVille. It's a 212 combo amp that I mic with a Shure SM57 microphone. I'm on the clean channel, but I have a overdrive pedal in front of the amp. So my guitar is going into an overdrive pedal. From the pedal, I'm going into the front of the amp and I'm kicking the amp, pushing it harder. And that's how I get the sound. The pedal I'm using is a Friedman BEOD pedal. And I'm using a little trick where I have the gain down just a little bit of gain but the level is up and that really smacks that amp hard to push it so here's clean again 
But when I kick in the pedal, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content. Um, if you like the video, please give it a like, click the thumbs up. And don't forget to click that link in the YouTube description box. I'll send you that killer resource, my free rock blues soloing ebook and free video lesson. Thank you so much for tuning in. So appreciate your support over the years. Keep having fun with those guitars. Keep putting them in your hands every day. And remember, your playing is an evolution. Take care and rock on. <laughs>